Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Raghavendra. Today we are going with the lamina problem. A circular lamina of 50 mm diameter rests on HB such that one of its diameters is inclined at 30 degree to VP and 45 degree to HP. Draw its top and front views in this position. It is a circular lamina of 50 mm diameter resting on HP. So diameter makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. That is theta is equal to 45 degree. Whereas 30 degree with respect to VP, that is phi is equal to 30 degree. As it is diameter is in, inclined, so it is a locus problem. First draw horizontal line. Name it as X, Y. VP HP. Now construct a circular lamina below the exponent that is it is resting on HP. So construct a circle of diameter 50 mm or radius 25 mm. To divide this one into equal number of parts. As diameter is 50 mm, so I'll divide this one as eight equal parts. 45 degree. This will be 135. Extend those lines in opposite directions. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now from each point, project the lines to X, Y, L. Join these endpoints with thick line. A dash, B dash in the bracket, H dash, C dash in the bracket, G dash, T dash in the bracket, F dash, and last one is E dash. This completes the first portion. For the second portion, diameter makes an angle of 45 degree with respect to HP. As this diameter AE, it is similar to A dash A dash, same dimension. So that one has to make an angle of 45 degree with respect to X, Y, L. This point is A dash. This one is A dash. So still we have to get three more points. C dash in the bracket, Z dash will be the midpoint. That has to get remaining two. 
dimension is 7.32. A dash has centered 7.32 mm as radius. Try an arc. Similarly, E dash has centered 7.32 mm as radius. Draw another arc. This one is B dash in the bracket H dash. And this is D dash in the bracket F dash. Those are the points. Close it horizontally also. Both H and F are on the same line, so I will draw from directly F. And also P and D are on the same line. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Join all the points with pre-handed curve while drawing manually. And this angle will be 45 degrees. This completes the second portion. For the third portion, once again, the diameter is making an angle of 30 degree with respect to VP. So initially the diameter length is 50 mm because it is a circle, this is a 50 mm. Now it is reduced to this one, that is 35.36. It is reduced to 35.36. So as the dimension decreases, so it is a locus problem. So the angle is 30 degree. So first draw a 30 degree line. Anywhere on this 30 degree line as center, cut an arc of 50 mm diameter, 50 mm radius. From this end point, draw horizontal line. From the same center, draw another arc of 35.36 mm radius. So 
so this will be e whereas the center is a join a so still we have to get six more points so first we will go with the gc so line gc it is perpendicular to ae and it is passing through the midpoint of ae so one side distance from the center is for gc it is 25 so from the midpoint of ae draw a line perpendicular to ae for the length of 25 mm you can observe this angle should be 90 degree same thing opposite side also just extend this line. opposite side also for a length of 25 mm this will be g whereas this one is c so still we have to get another four points that is line joining bh and df these two are also perpendicular to ae now to get that one the distance between the end points will be 5.18 here also same thing 5.18 mm so e as center 5.18 mm as radius draw an arc similarly a as center 5.18 mm as radius draw another arc now from these endpoints we have to draw the line perpendicular to a for a length of one side length will be 17.68 mm so from the end point draw a line perpendicular to ae for a length of 17.68 mm similarly opposite side also 17.68 mm same thing from this point 17.68 mm opposite side also 17.68 mm so join all the eight points with free handed curve B, D, F, and H. Project the points. Project the points in vertical direction also. A is here, A dash it is on the x y line till x y line. B and H are on this line till that line extend. That is B dash and H dash. C dash and Z dash are on this line till this line project C and G. D dash and F dash are on this line till that line project from D and F. And E dash it is on this line.
a dash a dash b dash c dash d dash f dash g dash h dash join all the eight points with three hundred cut a dash to b dash to c dash d dash e dash f dash g dash h dash back to a dash as it is a locus problem we have to get the apparent inclination also for that one extend line ae till xy line now measure the angle between xy line and the line ae that is 45 degree so apparent inclination in the top view that is beta beta which is equals to 45 degree this completes the problem thank you please subscribe my channel